the councils of light are here. For those of you who don't know who the councils are light, the councils of light are is an energy consciousness. It's a group of beings. Um, ooh, that was interesting. Who um, I work with, who come forth. Glad to be here. Hi, Gita. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. We're going to start in a few. Uh, so they're a group consciousness that I work with. And... They came last year. They work with me uh, up at the level of your higher self in another dimension. So I know it's, you know, it's stretch your imagination a little bit. So if you imagine there's a dimension at the level in which your higher self resides and I'm up there and we're kind of in this really cool Zen room. And then the, what I call my teachers come in and this group consciousness is um, a collective consciousness made up of seven different galactic energies that I work with. And I never remember all six, but it's the Palladians, Lemurians, Lyrians, Octurians, Andromedans, and Syrians. Did I say that already? Syrians? Or is it someone else? Palladians. Palladians. It's ironically, they all end in I-A-N-S, the Ians. I should just call them the Ians. We're just going to call them Ian. Ian's here. <laughs> um, so what's going to happen is we're all up in this room chilling out. And two of them, they're, they usually work in pairs. There's another wave of something coming in. They usually work in pairs. Um and one of them takes the lead, Council of Light. Love when they're here. Yeah, they're my friends. Um, and they they facilitate. So how it works is it's kind of like they're going to send the information to you at the level of your soul. And I'm going to kind of watch and hold that space. And then you, any shifts that you feel or that, that come in are going to happen by your soul. So it's kind of like your soul is getting a piece of paper going from the councils of light with here like this. This is your treatment plan. This is what we recommend that you shift and you're going to look at it and then your soul is going to go, uh-huh, I'll do this. I'll do this. I'll do this. I'll do this. Perfect. And then your soul actually brings down that information to you. So everything that you feel that's going to happen during this 10 minutes of um, light boosting is happening by you. I'm not touching you. I'm not running any energy on you and I'm not um, directing necessarily. Sometimes I do, but um, not today. Uh, we're going to allow the councils of light to do that. And sometimes I will say this, you're just inviting me to just hang on to explain that. Sometimes what will happen is if you're resisting or you're not getting it, or you need a little extra help in shifting a particular energy, whatever it is, um, and your soul for whatever it is, can't, won't release it, doesn't know how, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, your guides, uh, the council, no, but your guides may come in and help you move that energy. So if you feel, you know, a set of hands come in or you feel pulling or something like, touching you or whatever um, that can be your guides coming in to work with you directly now understand when that happens your soul has given permission for that interaction okay so nothing is happening to you don't freak out don't get all spazzy on me okay it's all being conducted um, by you at the level of your soul so if we're all cool with that I will start to facilitate the energy just take a deep breath in and whoever's sending the hearts thank you I love to see those when they fly across like I'm gonna send myself some oh it didn't work <laughs> oh well sorry I'm being goofy okay 
so here we go. So I'm just going to invite you to imagine sitting in your heart space, really pulling in all of your energy, all of your awareness into your center, into your core. Breathing in and really kind of dropping the day for a moment. 10 minutes, we're just gonna invite you to drop the day for 10 minutes. Whatever you're doing can wait. Don't multitask. You got 10 minutes to yourself with your coffee, just chill. There we go. Okay, and it's starting to flow. Woo! Here it comes. Oh my gosh, you didn't even let me ask. And we're just going to, for formality reasons, invite you to receive the information from the Councils of Light at the level of your higher self. So at the level of your higher self, we're inviting you to receive all the information from the Councils of Light and to bring that in for yourself, for seven and all, through all dimensions, spaces, planes, existences, through all of your belief systems, for you, your body, and your team to the degree that they so choose to receive it. So here it comes. Whoa. And they're reminding me to tell you it is a mental and emotional body recalibration. There we go. Feel free to let me know if you're experiencing any energy in the comments. I, I always like to gauge that. Um, so if you are willing to keep me updated, that would be great. So they begin with a psychic scan of your energy field to see what's going on, what's needed, what's being asked for. So um, just chill with that. They are looking you over. I remember the first time that happened, I totally freaked out because it triggered a trauma for me. Um, so don't, there you go. So just relax. Whoa. Okay. So this is a heart chakra clearing that's coming up. And they're going to remove all energy around the heart that's not in alignment with your soul's purpose. Oh. This feels really strong today. And they're saying the spring equinox energies have brought in a lot of light codes and frequencies for people um, to <laughs> really help you move from the stuck to the flow of your soul's essence. So it's, it's kind of like a very forceful energy. Gloria feels like it's strong, calm flow. Oh, good. Calm is good. Okay, and a lot of people aren't recalibrating to that strong equinox energy that's coming in. So it's kind of like um, being stripped naked in the middle of the universe and going, oh, my God, where are my clothes? <laughs> right? You feel really kind of like exposed, vulnerable, kind of raw, and you're like searching around for your clothes. What an example they're giving me. Um, and really just kind of that it's a little fearful, right? And so it's that kind of recalibration that's happening that's, here we go, that's making it feel a little um, tender for everybody. And they're saying they're coming in, they're going to help you recalibrate this. And they're saying, because I use that example, they're saying, um, we're going to help you recalibrate and get you some clothes. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay. <clears throat> no naked beings. Why does my shirt keep falling down? Okay. Sorry. 
Okay, deep breath in. There is a sense of um, peace coming in. And it, it feels kind of like, to use Gloria's word, like a calm, centered, even kind of tone, balanced energy. And this is, and they're saying, this is what happens when you put your clothes on. <laughs> so when you put your clothes on, you know, you're not as tender, you're not as raw, you feel a little bit more balanced, a little bit more calmer, right? Because you're not so exposed. Okay. Which field? And there's a rush of energy coming into the mental field. The mental field is all your thinking, all your overwhelm. Some of that is clearing out. Some of that was related to the fear of not being able to recalibrate that tenderness, that rawness. Your emotional bodies are out of balance. So they're coming in. Emotional bodies, uh, all your feelings. What are you going to do with that? They're going to clean and clear it. Any fear-based feelings that you want to let go of, um, just allow them to release. Oh, interesting. So if there, are, if you're running any programs in your emotional body around abandonment, there's a going to be released as well. If you'd like that, just say yes. Okay. And that is 10 minutes. So we're just going to ask that you be wrapped in a safe, sacred container of love and light that has the capacity to seal these vibrations in to the degree that is appropriate for your own spiritual growth and evolutionary states. We thank the Council of Light for coming forth to be of service and assistance to us today and for the current energy that is really helping us propel us forward um, without fear. Deep breath in.